Stop. It's me, cooking with Mark. Uh, today we're going to do three separate videos. That's the plan. That's the goal. Three separate videos. Um, my cameraman's still in bed, so I'm going to try to wing this myself. I'll try to make it as simple and boring and not make it a 20-minute video. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll get through the steps here to make these homemade. We're going to do homemade pierogies next, and then we're going to air fry some uh, Brussels sprouts, and we're going to do some barbecued uh, baby back ribs. So the first thing you're going to do in these pierogies is... You're going to use uh, eight potatoes, russet potatoes, a baking potato. You're going to use eight normal sized potatoes. And I'd say normal size is probably fit in the palm of your hand maybe. That's just my opinion. I used these potatoes. You can see how big that is. That's like uh, extremely large. So I used four potatoes. Remember this is going to be the filling for the pierogies. Um, so hopefully we have enough. But there is uh, four very large potatoes or eight normal sized potatoes, which I would say would be about half of that potato. We're gonna boil these just like mashed potatoes until they're soft and tender just like a mashed potato. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the list of ingredients. Um, and you'll see a picture of that too on my video. But anyway, this is four and a half cups of flour this is two tablespoons of vegetable oil. This here is two and a half egg. It's two whole eggs and one egg yolk. Okay, two tablespoons of butter, which I'm gonna melt. Two teaspoons of salt. This is two tablespoons of processed cheese. You can use whatever you want, but I'd try to, uh, I mean, I guess you could use a pepper or whatever, and it's your pierogi, put in it what you want. I'm using mild cheddar, it's two tablespoons of that. That is two cups of sour cream. And that is four ounces, one cup of mild shredded cheddar. Um, I weigh my stuff out. One cup is four ounces. If you try to put that into a cup, would it fit? I don't know. That's, that's the ingredients, and now we're gonna get it mixed up here. While we're doing this, the potatoes are cooking, just like they're gonna be mashed, but we won't uh, make mashed potatoes. All right, uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix the flour. Okay, remember that's four and a half, cup, four and a half cups of flour and two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna mix that together. That's gonna to be our dough. We're just gonna set that aside. Set it aside. In this next bowl here, we're gonna to mix together the eggs. The butter. That's uh, two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna throw that in there with the eggs. We're gonna throw the two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And this is two cups of sour cream. We're gonna put this all in here together. We're gonna to whip this up and then I'll be back. All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the uh, sour cream, eggs, vegetable oil, salt, and uh, butter, and you're gonna mix it into your four and a half cups of flour. We're gonna dump that right in there. We're gonna mix that all together to make our dough. Okay, what we got here is we got our dough. We're going to cover it with a uh, clean uh, dish towel. We're going to let it set for about 15 minutes. Our potatoes have been cooking for a while, so uh, they should be about done. So we're going to go ahead and take this 15 minute uh, time frame here, and I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then we'll be back to the pierogies. All right, man. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the cup of mild shredded cheddar, four ounces, one cup and the two tablespoons of uh, any processed cheese, whatever you like. You can have peppers in it, whatever you want to flavor your pierogies with. That's uh, eight regular sized baking potatoes. I used four extremely large ones. You're going you're gonna to season this with salt, pepper, and garlic. Salt to your liking. There's no measurement. It's how you like it. So we're going to put this all in there while the potatoes are still hot. Mix it around. I'm sure you don't need a mixer. I'm sure you could do it by hand. I'm just doing it this way. Okay, I mixed my potatoes and my uh, processed cheese two tablespoons of processed cheese, a cup of uh, um, shredded cheddar, mild cheddar, use whatever kind of cheddar or cheese you want I guess, garlic salt, salt and pepper to taste, kind of formed a ball like a piece of dough, like a big piece of dough, kind of firm which probably makes it easier to work with in the pierogies, I don't know, this is new to me, but anyway, um, we're going to let this set and uh, cool some and then we're going to go ahead and start rolling the pierogies out, okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, what we're going to do now is we're getting ready to roll our pierogies out. We're going to take this dough, and we're going to split it into probably two parts. 
We got a glass that's about as fancy as I can get for cutting them out. I picked a diameter that I thought would be suitable. Some water for sealing the edges and some flour for um, rolling the dough out. So we're going to go ahead and roll some, some out here and cut them. They say uh, it's best if you can freeze them for a little while. So we're going to roll them, put them into a bowl with parchment paper, and freeze them for a little while. Alright, let's see how this goes. I make the pierogies, like here's some I made. I'm going to go and chuck these in the freezer while I do some more. Um, my suggestion to you is, up the ante, make the diameter bigger. It's going to take me three days to roll out all these pierogies if I make them that small. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the diameter of the of dough actually bigger. Make the pierogi bigger. I think it'll taste the same, cook the same. But uh, to try to speed the process up so I'm not here till uh, 2019. Hi right, man, see you in a bit. Uh, rolling out the pierogies, like I said, I, I made the diameter bigger. I got a bigger mug and uh, rolled them out. It's definitely making them easier to work with. Uh, we're starting to get down to the end here. I put a couple batches in the freezer. I got about another six maybe pierogies there. These uh, seven here, plus I have two or three batches in the oven, I mean in the freezer. What I'm doing is I put the mixture on there. Then I take this little pastry bar brush with water and I, I wet the edges. You don't want to get it too wet, but you want to get it wet enough that it'll stick together. Then I basically just fold it over. Try to do it with one hand here. Basically fold it over and just kind of pinch the edges. Just like that. Doesn't have to look pretty, doesn't have to look fancy. Just try to seal the edges. Um, remember it said eight potatoes or, or whatever. It said eight eight potatoes. I used four extra large potatoes. You could see my rate ratio to filling and dough is completely out of whack. Um, what I did is when I was mixing my stuff up and I realized how many potatoes I was gonna have versus dough i went ahead and added more cheese i suggest you use eight normal sized potatoes that would probably fit in the size of your hand and uh palm of your hand or so but i added more cheese to mine but if i was you i'd still stick to the recipe just don't use extremely large potatoes if you do just add more cheese it's all about taste what you like and what you like your filling to be so as long as it tastes good to you that's all that matters all right see you in a bit so anyway, I got my progies done. As you can see, like I said, I made them a little larger. Um, a little larger, that's okay. Now you can eat um, two of these instead of six small ones. But it did make a considerable large amount. Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these in salted boiling water. You're gonna boil them until they start to float to the top or until they float to the top, don't overcook them. They'll become soggy. So you're gonna boil them in water. Then you're gonna drain them, strain them, take them out with a slotted spoon. Get, them, get most of the water off them you can. Then you're gonna fry them in onions and butter, you're going to saute ham for a little bit in there. Um, and that's it for the pierogies. Once I do this step of cooking them, I'll show you what they look like. But as you can see, pierogies, first time. They're a little big, maybe a little ugly, but I bet they taste delicious. It's cooking with Mark. we got a couple more things coming up. See you later. Talk about pierogies. We have made some pierogies today. Homemade pierogies. we got some water boiling here. We took them, we made them, we froze them. Um, yep, some of them's kind of big, some of them's kind of ugly, but I bet they taste delicious. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these pierogies and we're going to put them in here. And what you want to do is this is water, salted water, that's all it is. We're going to put them in here until they begin to float. Once they begin to float, they're done. Um, we're going to cook about a half a dozen at a time. And uh, we'll show you the end results when they're all done. Come out, these are the homemade pierogies. They're the big uglies. In fact, we're going to name them the big uglies pierogies. What we did is we moved our pep, our, I mean our, our butter and our onions to the side. They're starting to float. If you can see, they're becoming floaters. Floaters, big ugly floaters. So we're going to take them out of here and we're going to gently place them on this uh, plate. This is my first time making pierogies, or pierogies, so don't be laughing at them, okay? Don't be laughing. It's not a laughing matter. It's a pierogi matter. So we're going to throw them in the skillet here. Try to get some of the water off of them. But anyway, we're going to place them in the skillet just like this. And we're going to do this. Brown them up a little bit. Flip. Um, and I'm sure with technique, your pierogies will get better looking. But anyway, that's it. That's the pierogies. I'll show you the finished product once they're out on a plate. Thanks for watching. 